Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this elegant text reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my logo animation course on Udemy. Link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as May Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is also 30 seconds. And background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now I'm going to select my ellipse tool over here. And for the fill, I'm going to choose let's say red color for now and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and convert this uh, shape layer into 3d layer now press p for position and in active camera view i'm going to choose left view and press v for selection tool and we will bring this over here if you go to the active camera you can see something like this okay now right click new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3d let's do one thing we will choose two views horizontal like this so this is over here now select this uh, shape layer and we will make it apparent with this null object okay so now if i see this null object over here press r for rotation this null object is basically controlling this shape layer so let's do one thing we will select this now uh, uh, this thing is in front so what i'm going to do i'm going to move this layer at the backward like this so let's make this 250 like this okay and let's go to the one view again now select this null object press r for rotation we have to rotate this on x-axis so let's create one keyframe at x zoom in a little bit let's go to around 1.20 frames and we need to rotate it like this so let's do one thing we will make it to complete rotation so if you see we will get this kind of rotation then select this shape layer press r for rotation again create one keyframe at x go to the last keyframe over here and because we have selected two over here so we need to select minus two over here so if you see this animation now you will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation and let's do one thing by holding alt i'm going to increase the duration of this animation like this or let's say up to something like this it should be good okay let's i think this one looks good to me now select the shape layer press p for position and let's move this layer over here create one keyframe go to the last keyframe and we will move this from here to here so if you see this now we will get this kind of stuff select those keyframes and hit f9 like this now press S initially let's make the scale 0 create one keyframe go somewhere around over here let's make this scale 100 so we'll get this kind of scaling go somewhere around over here create one keyframe go to the last and let's make this 0 again so if you see we will get something like this if you want then you can move this over here also a little bit it's totally up to you just see which one looks good I think this looks good to me let's try to adjust it over here okay so if you see now you will get something like this okay now uh, select this layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as uh, let's say spare and hit ok and now after that we are going to do apply eco effect on it so select this go to the effect and presets and apply eco effect increase the number of echoes to 100 
and over here eco time over here i'm going to change it uh, over here if you see it's 0 0.033 out of which you have to remove this first three over here and add zero over there okay so if you see this now we will get something like this okay and if you want a proper curve so what you can do get you zoom in a little bit you can select this layer keyframes over here and move them a little bit closer so if you see this now you will get this proper slim effect over here okay like this and if you want you can go to the spare you can select the shape layer and instead of uh, complete red you can choose white color and for the stroke you can choose red color and adjust the stroke width so now if you see over here you will get something like this so it's totally up to you i think this looks uh, also good so but i'm going to reduce the stroke width to 10 pixels like this if you see this in full position you will get proper results okay i think this looks good and now we need to type our text so i'm going to select my text over here i'm going to type m and for the color i'm going to choose white color and for the stroke color i'm going to choose red color because our text is in red color and let's choose something around focus font or you can choose whatever font you want let's see what we can use I think I'll choose Poppins. You can choose whatever font you which is suitable. I'll choose this one only. Press Ctrl Alt Hope. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Then according to the height width of this stroke, I'll press S and I'll increase the size of this layer. Go to the character and change the stroke width a little bit. I think 4 looks good and we need to select this and we need to convert this into 3d layer like this and let's bring this backward so now uh, as you guys can see uh, from this point where this uh, stroke is uh, near to the center I'll select this I'll press R for rotation and I'll rotate it on X axis and I'll make this minus 90 okay I'll create one keyframe and uh, you can select this and you can move this over here also and then create one keyframe then go somewhere around over here and then over here we need to make it zero or let's make this one maybe and let's see like this okay let's see what happens when you hit minus one I think minus one is bad so let's make this one only and select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and move this handle over here and move this handle over here so it will look like that they are flipping and select this keyframe and move this a little bit over here like this okay and you can enable the motion blur also let's type zero and let's see what does it look like i think it looks bad so uh, instead of uh, what we can do over here we will make zero but over here we will make it something like minus 20 let's 270 like this okay yep i think this looks good and now over here what we need to do this pair initially it should be at the up but at this point over here i'll select this and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and i'll bring this backward and again at this point i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and i'll bring this upward like this so if you see this we will get something like this Now during this point over here if you see properly we will get some effect like it's going backward and etc. Okay. So
this is for one text animation uh, we will need to select all of them press ctrl shift c and we will call it as m press s and adjust the scale a little bit and we will move this over here and we need each and every alphabet so i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d and we will move this over here hit ctrl 0 select this m and hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o double click to open this go inside this select this m and instead of m i'm going to type o so select this m over here and by holding alt we need to replace this layer and try to adjust it properly now select this o hit ctrl d move this over here select this o in the project window hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as t double click to open this instead of this o we will change the text to t go to the main animation and we will simply replace this and try to adjust the position hit ctrl d and move this over here select this t hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as i double click to open this select this and change this to i and again we will replace this then we already have this o so i'll simply select this bring this at the top and i'll move this over here select this uh, i hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as n double click to open this select this and change the text to n and uh, select this o hit ctrl d and replace it and try to adjust it over here select all of them and try to adjust them properly over here okay go to the start let's go to around 10 frames i'll move this o over here 20 frames move this over here so basically we are adjusting this one by one and i think instead of all of this so let's take a distance of 5 frames only and you can go inside this pair and you can enable motion blur over here also it will take a little bit time so let's disable this motion blur for this okay then right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null and let's make this 115 initially create one keyframe go somewhere around 3 to somewhere around over here and let's make this 100 and hit n so if you see this now along with this animation you will get a little bit of scaling animation also like this okay let's make this full and press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this at the backward okay so this is how you can create this kind of text animation inside of after effects